uh, my name is Richard Johnstone and I'm the chief expert for the World Skills Competition D1 Aircraft Maintenance. This is the very first year we're here and we are excited to be part of this venue. So how excited are you? Very excited. It's been a very long, hard road to get here, but it's been worth it and we have some wonderful people from around the world that are um, part of this great uh, adventure that we're on. So could you tell us a little bit more about the uh aircraft maintenance and getting in aircraft maintenance into world skills. That actually started eight, over eight years ago here in Canada as we presented the very first skills competition for aircraft maintenance in the year 2001. From that point on we have actually led the way, uh, I'm proud to say, uh, to uh, bring this aircraft maintenance to the world to showcase a very highly technical trade that a lot of young people should be very interested in and it's quite a challenging trade itself. Cool. So what do you think attracts uh, uh, young people or prospective people to uh, aircraft maintenance? Uh, the biggest thing that I found as an instructor is that young people love to travel and for that travel there's no better way than to be free especially when you're working for an aircraft company. Hi, I'm Joe Jones from the UK. I am an expert here in the very first uh, aviation challenge and I've been involved with aviation for 26 years. And could you run us through what uh, the competitors will be doing through the competition? Yeah, we have uh, six modules to this competition but it all really starts with the aircraft. Behind us now we have the aircraft and they'll have to carry out a daily inspection task. A routine task where they walk around and check the aircraft and the idea is they'll find faults, maybe, and then faults will lead them on to the other modules within the aircraft industry. If we go a little stroll this way, we'll see the engines. Obviously, this engine's not from the aircraft you've just seen, but we have to make it modular and we get what we can. In this engine, they'll be checking out how it works, why it works, if there's any damage within it, maybe, and also, uh, there's a, another secondary task on this, on how we get that power to work, how we get that engine to work. So there's two tasks on this engine module. And over here, we have the flight control rigging. Obviously we want the aircraft to be able to take off, land, turn left, turn right, roll. Uh, and that's very important that they be able to get the control rigging correctly. And that's what we're testing here. So what, uh, what is the hardest part you find for the competitors? For them, yeah. they're unknown I suppose, isn't it? They turn up here not knowing what they've got to make or what they've got to do. And they find out the, the, the details have been changed a little bit or something like that. And that's, that's the hard bit for them. Okay. Over here we've got a sheet metal task, uh, which is where they're putting two bits of metal together after bending them. And they've got to be, because that can be used for control runs that go down the side of the aircraft. So we don't want the passengers in the aircraft to see this, so we hide it, but they need to be uh, at certain tolerances with certain dimensions, and that's what we're checking here. Uh, so why don't you tell us uh, about what's next to you right there? Absolutely, there's no, this is a trophy that we are going to debut for the World Skills first competition of aircraft maintenance. This trophy's criteria is that it uh, will be awarded to the country that shows the most passion determination and hard grit 